Hey up everybody! Okay then I'm moving on to the next part in my micro stroke, stroke mini lathe project. Uh, in the last part you'll have seen where I did the um, traverse on the carriage. Uh, that's in the last part I think, or last two parts. Uh, and anyway if you've not seen any of this and you're interested I think if you take a look at parts 1 to I think I'm up to part 11 uh, you'll have seen where I made everything for this uh, if, you, if you're interested and want to take a look. Anyway, I'm going to move on to cross slide today. Just a quick recap then, like I said in my introduction, when I bought this, when I bought these castings they were partially started. Uh, that's just the castings that is, that's the actual lathe bed. The tail stock's not been started, that's not, had nothing done to it. So I'll stop waffling on and bring you over here and explain what I'm doing because I've got a few anomalies to consider with this. You normally have the gib, and I explained this in part one I think, you normally have the gib on this side with the screws, but for some reason it's gone this way. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, I made the gib back in, back in part one, that's quite some time back now. I've made the gib for that and uh, I'm going to stick with... His, his initial plan because he's, drill, he's already drilled the hole so that hole because it's offsetting this dovetail once this gibs, gibs in it centralizes into the center of the slide the other anomaly which I'll get to in a, probably in another video is um, these slots is put in for the compound slide once the screws are in there's no way for the edges of the screws to go before they're catching on this, so I've got to look at that, but that's, that's for another time. So let's get back to this then. Right, it's an imperial lathe that I'm making, so I want, I want the screw on the uh, cross slide and the compound slide to be divisible by a thousand. That's the pitch of the screw, that is. So ideally, I'd want 100 divisions for one turn of the screw. That's ten teeth per inch. Now because this lathe is very very tiny the hole in it here is only a quarter I can't really, unless I make a specific screw up ten teeth per inch and a nut that's the only way I'd get around that. But I've found out that I've just got enough room to, to open this hole up to 3 8 Right. So if I look at my thread chart and I go to BSF, a 3 8 BSF is 20 teeth per inch. Therefore, 20 is going to 1,000, don't they? So instead of having a hundred divisions, I, I would be, I would have to have fifty divisions. That's to be conventional, isn't it? However, uh, the compound slide needs even a smaller diameter screw in. So I can't use a three eighth, and I want to keep them same. So if I, if you look at three um, quarter inch BSW thread, so that's going from three eighth down to a quarter for this. That's going to give me the same threads, twenty teeth per inch. So then, the actual dials will work exactly the same on both on both travers. I was going to make some dials up with 50 divisions in. So conventionally, let's say you're going to take a hundred thou off your job, your workpiece. What you do, what you normally say, and this this is not with every lathe. You normally say, right, I'll take a 50 thou cut. That'll take me hundred thou off. So in my Myford spares, I found this dial, right, and then lo and behold, up at the track. Uh, my camera's running out of memory. Up at my local track the other day, lo and behold, I found another one, exactly the same. 
if Paul's watching he charged me a pound for that and I actually, I actually tried to barter him down to 99p but he didn't have a penny change so <laughs> I digress there anyway what I thought of doing and I've not, I've not measured these up yet to be honest so that's what I'll be doing next I want to try and incorporate this onto here and, and possibly the other one onto the compound I know they're a bit big but at, at the end of the day I'm getting older and my eyes are getting worse so, so I've, you want something that's practical don't you so I think I can just I can, I can just get away with that I think right so as an example then on a normal lathe when you're taking a cut and it's not every time this because some lathes do work like I'm going to show you but normally on all the lathes I've worked on let's say you've got a workpiece in and you want hundred thousandths off what you say in your mind right I'll put a fifty thousandths cut on that'll get me my hundred thousandths that's that's on the more conventional lathes not every time it don't work like that not every time so instead of me having a dial on with 50 thou then say that with 50 divisions on let's say i wanted uh, 100 thou i'd say in my mind right i want i've got to take 50 thou off so i'd go 50 50 thousands a full turn that's going to get me my 100 thou so if I put this dial on with a hundred divisions and I say to myself, right, I've got to take hundred thou off, uh, instead of me saying, right, I'll, I'll put a fifty thou cut on, I'd just put the cut on that I want to take off, hundred thou, which is a full turn again, one hundred. So I just have to remember when I'm working on this lathe, whatever I want off, I put on with the dial. If I want 50 off, I'd put 50 on instead of 25, etc. I'll take a few measurements and then I think I'm going to make up a 3 8 BSW. No, BSF on this. 20 teeth per inch screw.
Well I think that's it for this part then, uh, that's the cross slide completed. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do at next part, maybe compound slide or perhaps tailstock. Um, see what te takes me fancy at, at that time. So uh, if you found that useful, informative and enjoyable, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you next time then. Thanks for watching then. Bye for now.